Hello everybody, this is Pedron60 here, and welcome back to XCOM Enemy Unknown. Last time we left off, we got alien abductions reported from three sites around the world. We got from Beijing, China, Port Hardcore, Hardcore in Nigeria, and Leon, Mexico. Now, how people usually choose this is either, well, they got grudges, they got preferences, they could play favorites. Oh, you could do it by simply saying what you need most. If we help out China, we get engineers. If we help out Nigeria, we get scientists. And if we help Mexico, we get a little bit of funds. But I think right now we would like to have a little bit more scientists on the hand so we can kickstart our research. So, Nigeria, hang tight, because here we come. So, we've got Squatty Sniper, Isra, Rookie Kennedy, Squatty Wallash as the support, and the Heavy Carpenter. Heavy Carpenter. Fantastic. I'm already loving it already. And here we are flying halfway around the world just to help some we people. We have visual on the mission site, setting down. Alright, let's begin the assault. Listen up. We're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Looks like this is Operation Codename Bleeding God. Dear God. No rap bottom moo moo moo. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. Alright, looks like we're back here again, people. What well, appears to be our prologue mission, or somewhere close to our prologue mission, or something like our prologue mission, or something totally not our prologue mission has popped up again. Let's move you over here, see what you can see. Nothing? Mmm, move up. Nothing still. We're gonna go for a classic spread, breaching clear. Let's see if you can see anything over here. Nothing. Mmm. You need HMG, we can move up here. Nothing at all. Looks like whatever that we're gonna fight is gonna be focused in here. That is preferably not a very good spot for snipers, but it's alright. We got a little bit more. It just got hot in here. Oh dang. Currently our sniper is the most exposed unit. And now the aliens turn to have their place. You, was it really necessary to break the glasses to mind control that dude? Like seriously? I'm under fire. Well, thankfully the car isn't gonna blow. Two more enemies have been spotted. spotted. Two more further back in the house. Well, that's always good news. That peekaboo. All right, it's our turn to play ball. You got four targets to choose from. Who are you gonna hit? Is that guy the one that's mind controlling people? Or is that the one that's being mind controlled? Alright, 53% chance. You got an op. Make it count. And God bless damage roulette. Uh, he's technically wasted his turn. You have to move up. And later, a heavy machine gunner has some better chances of hitting that dude than the sniper. Fantastic! Go for it. Cutscene. And two birds in one stone. How do you like them apples? Who can you see? Take aim. 40% chance. Hmm. How about you just breach the store? Can you see somebody? 
22% chance, whatever. Take game anyways. Might get lucky. Or not. No, that is not good. Definitely. Most indefinitely not good. Bogey's moving up. They have very good range of mind control. Surprisingly. Ooh, who's he taking aim at? Damn, that was close. <laughs> good try, good try. Taking fire over here. He's taking aim at a sniper. He has successfully moved a door, so we hopefully have a clearer shot next time. Alright, sniper. Because you are in your noob stages. You mean not move and fire at the same turn, so make the best use of your position. I'll get him next time. Next time that won't be no next time. To do or die. There we go, he's obviously flanked. And easy kill. Bye bye. Bye bye. Indeed. Hmm. There we go, we can seek some cover behind there. And hopefully get off a blend shot at that guy. One damage only. This is where damage roulette is at its best, people. God, I hate damage roulette. Uh, what other positions can I get you into? Move up here, maybe? There, it's it. Take aim. Open fire. Target still up. Hmm. What is going on? He's getting mind controlled again. Moving up. Taking aim at our guy over there. Over here. Thankfully, he's in full cover. Oh. Something's coming. I'll save the sniper. I'm pretty sure we can have to, we have all it takes to take this guy out. Come on. Do it. You call three a critical? Yeah, probably because we're using the standard M4, right? So calm. 70%. Finish him. Bye. I need ammo. Set to say, the only time you're getting ammo is in your next turn. Let's see wh who came out of that building. If you so have the audacity to make such a move, you better be prepared to pay for it. I can't keep you on Overwatch now, can I? Look at how it is. Moving up. Whoa! Whoa, indeed. Those are some really close shots. 53%. Go for it. Cutscene. He's down. So that would leave us with only one more enemy target left alive. And there he is. Well, there is actually one of two things we can do at the moment. Because, well, we actually can do anything. So let's reload. It's killing time. I was actually planning to use our rocket launcher, but apparently that's not going to be the vi most viable of options. So I'm gonna move him here and hook him down. And that should end our turn. Alien's moving out. He's got a very good shot at our guy over there. And even when flanked, he misses the shot. Now let's see if our sniper can do any better. Or he's just equally as bad. Come on! 
If you don't kill anything, you're not getting promoted. And if you don't get promoted, well, sad to say, buddy, you're gonna suck. Well, looks like you've been working the hardest today. And with that, I shall reward you with the final kill. So, have fun, mate. I need no ammo. Way that just happened. Like hell yeah, it just did. Unfortunately. HMG guy, finish the job. Taken care. Mission accomplished. You people should be ashamed of yourself. A sniper that can hit, and an assault that just missed at point blank range. Sometimes, are these even elite people? Like XCOM. I thought only elites of the elites are drafted in. Apparently, the elites of the elites have that sort of aim. I am shocked. Looks like they're really taking care of business down there, and without so much as a scratch. Yep. So, your very first mission, Operation Bleeding God, has gone off smoothly. The assault class serves as our front line. They're the first ones into a fight, and the last ones out. Yes, finally we get ourselves an assault class. I'm with a 12 gauge shotgun, which is probably not 12 gauge. He gets this special perk called Run and Gun. This is practically one of the most powerful perks available on the battlefield, and it allows them to get up close and personal with their 12 gauge shotty. Now, Carpenter can finally get some promotions. Bullet Swarm or Hollow Targeting. Commander to the Situation Room. Commander to the Situation Room. Woman, I'm trying to have a moment. Shut up. Shooting or at or suppressing enemies also confers 10 aims to any allies who attack those targeted enemies. So basically, if, if we're trying to. if we shot at somebody, if we miss, we'll give a plus 10 aim bonus to any allies nearby. Or if we're suppressing the target in the first place. Bullet swarm would firing what which will mean that if we fire the HMG on the first action, we can fire it again if we actually have bullets for it and if we actually have not acquisited our target. Now usually I go with bullet swarm, but let's go with hollow targeting this time. Sounds like Commander a little bit of fun, and hopefully Commander can the aid room. Ali Isra with his poor targeting skills. So, with this, we receive four scientists, and panic has increased across North America and Asia because we failed to help China and Leon Mexico. We will be in touch, Commander. I'm sure we will. Every member of the council is going to want satellite coverage. So we should plan our deployments carefully. And with the release of satellites, you can track now UFO to enter human airspace, and we can send out interceptors up to f combat them. As you can see, this panic board over here would rise if we don't help the particular country in danger or its neighbors. And if this meter reaches critical, they will withdraw from the XCOM project. So this will result in lesser funds and we will lose more support and you know the world will start going crazy. If we launch a satellite, it will reduce the panic in the country by I think two two bars. So it's probably a good idea to get a satellite Nexus up and running very soon. Let's see what the blokes at engineering can do for us. <laughs> All right, I think you'll just remain I like this for now. I efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. That's good to hear. I'm still having a hard time grasping what it is the aliens are hoping to accomplish here. Are they studying us? 
Why abduct humans seemingly at random? There must be a pattern that we haven't established yet. We may never know if they don't wish to speak to us or come in peace. I guess there will never be a common grounds for understanding. Access left operational. Alright, finally that is done. We can build a facility here. And we'll excavate this site around here. And we'll carry on fast forwarding time. Weapon fragments. Hmm. When equipped, this advanced targeting module integrates with XCOM's active HUD system to offer a significant increase to our soldier's aim, also known as the scope. Oh well. Let's study some alien materials. I think this will give us a nanofiber fest. This technology has a number of potential applications. I'm sure the science team is eager to begin. I'll notify you as soon as we have something significant to report. There we go, two scopes. Scopes. I mean, why not scopes? Alright, prepare for a very cool cutscene. Aliens have been sighted over Japan and a small sized alien intruder. Let's scramble our interceptors. Craven 1, you are cleared for launch. Now whoever's on that plane, I do not want to be that person. Eyes on the bandit. And this is just a really just slow cutscene and well that alien just got wrecked. Two avalanche missiles and he was already down. So we shot down the intercept the interceptor shot down the UFO. Civilian indicates alien crew moving to the crest at right, the crest side interceptor sustained light damage in the encounter. Celebrations! We have a confirmed kill on Bogey 001. I repeat, the UFO is down. I'll copy, over. Solid copy, Voodoo 37. Nice work. Central out. Alright, people. Retask Recon Satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that crash site. She's coming into range now, sir. On screen. Magnify. Still in one piece. Commander, I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately. So, well, I guess this will be it for XCOM Episode 2. We have now finally shot down an enemy UFO, and in the next episode, we will storm that ship and find all the itty bitty secrets that these aliens are hiding from us. Once again, I've been Pattern 160, and. I guess I'll catch you next time. See ya.